Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video. Today, we're going to take a look at Ripple, XRP, and I think a little bit about Bitcoin. So to start off here, XRP close to a big move, but to which price level? This is definitely one of the most interesting topics, I guess, in the whole crypto space. Of course, we're talking about big freaking moves in price. Now for XRP, the price has really been quite stable at around 22 cents, lower than the lowest point in 2018, and definitely one of the lowest points in 2019 as well. But now the question is, when is a big move going to happen, either upside or downside, and we're going to take a little bit of a look into that. So it says here, XRP has been trading sideways at about you know, 22 cents for a little while, and we can see a few indicators showing the incoming big move. The trading volume has been slowly decreasing and it's extremely low right now. This is always the case before a very volatile move. Additionally, resistance and support levels are really close to the current price. Where is XRP headed to? Although there are strong signals for an upcoming big move, we don't really know the direction of such a move. Both sides have their own contentions, although it seems that the sentiment is generally positive. Charts movement seems to show some bullish signs for XRP, as the digital asset has been trading positively for the last three days. XRP is quite close to breaking above the recent high and resistance, but could also just set a lower high. And according to Ali Martinez and Adam and Eve, Oh, wait, wait, oh, sorry, guys. According to Ali Martinez, an Adam and Eve double bottom pattern is forming on the daily chart for XRP. This is a highly bullish pattern and indicates a bullish reversal is near. However, again, XRP has to break above the recent high of 0.232, uh, so that's, um, you know, 23.2 cents before we can actually break any higher or actually go any higher. The, the, the fun part about all these you know, comments and all these articles like this is just, they're saying, all right, you know, right now we're trading at about 22 and a half cents. Actually, we're trading a little bit lower than that, 22 cents or 21.22.1 cent. Fun part is they say, yeah, we need to go above 23.2 for us to confirm our trend or for us to really, you know, move any higher. The fun part is it's obvious we need to cross one point. In this case here, they're saying this is the big resistance that we need to cross. But even if we cross this resistance, there's no guarantees that we're going to move higher. It could really just be, all right, we pass this resistance and we either test next resistance or we don't. Really, it's like a 50-50 there once again. Um, the only thing that's going on is there's a bigger likelihood of if we cross this, we have a bigger likelihood of going up further. But now, there's still no indication to say when it is going to happen. All they're saying is the start here that a few indicators are showcasing a big move is coming, yet what these things really are is not too clear. It's just, they're saying here, the trading volume has been slowly decreasing and it's extremely low right now, which is the case often with, uh, you know, these things. I don't know, though. Possible bearish scenario, so this is positive, but let's see bearish. XP could simply set a lower high and then continue trading sideways for many more weeks. This isn't necessarily bearish as it will be trading sideways, however the bulls don't want to see more of it. Another possibility is a break below the recent support level at 20 cents. This could easily happen if the whole crypto market crashes again, which is kind of doing a little bit, not too much, but I mean, it's a slight crash here, 3% again. Um, a break below this support level would be quite catastrophic for XRP. That's a break below 20 cents. It's a small chance though. I mean, 20 cents is going to be a pretty strong barrier. If we break below that, yeah, I can understand it would be catastrophic. It would be pretty strange for me as well. Fundamentally, XRP is doing a lot of things right. Although Ripple claims they're not entirely related to XRP, their recent partnerships will help the digital asset in the long run. It seems that XRP's adoption is booming recently with more and more services accepting it as a payment or integrating it into their systems. Yeah, I mean, that's that's obvious. Last part here, have nothing to add to that. I mean, we all know the adoption is just completely insane uh, in terms of how much Ripple is doing for them, for XRP and also for themselves. There's no, no way we have to debate about that. Really, guys, if you're not sure that Ripple is putting in the work, that Ripple is really successful right now, I think you're blind. You should maybe wash your eyes with some some dirt because <laughs> you're not seeing straight right there. Yes, that was a joke for some of the people not getting it. Ripple's XRP price could regain bullish momentum after reaching this crucial level by a crypto trader, Alex Dovnia. Huh, he says XRP will not be able to switch back a bullish mode until it reclaims the 26 cent level, according to crypto trader Eric Chu. All right. 
So Eric Chu here, Mr. Swing Trader, says on Twitter, Bear scenario for XRP, we could potentially see 17 to 18 cents if we continue getting weak reactions of these support zones. For bulls, the level to gain, in my opinion, is back above 26 cents for me to lean bullish again on the medium time frame. All right, you might be wondering, why are you doing so much price analysis, Dusty? You just told us yesterday in the previous video that you don't like to do it and you don't want to. Reason for it is, you gotta sometimes, right? Period. You gotta sometimes cover the price analysis. In this case, I thought, you know what, let me dedicate one um, part of a video, so like one half of a video here, to just quickly explain a little bit about what the, the general opinion is here. General opinion is, people think price is going down right now, and I guess that was obviously right, because it was at 22 and a half cents just, just a couple of hours ago, now it's all the way back to 22.1. Bigger picture is, we don't really care, because in the end, longer term, it's all going to be fine, so... There's no real issue, there's no real problem, there's no real anything to report on, uh, so let's continue on. XRP fans rejoice, Bank of America names Ripple innovative technology maker. I don't think this was needed, right? Fans are rejoicing, of course, because this is huge, this is big for them to say, but I don't think this was crucial in any way or form. Why am I saying that? Because we all know the Bank of America could not say anything bad about Ripple, we all know that. So, for them to just state again that they're innovative and technology makers, or both of those, is just kind of, um, you know, addressing addressing some known facts already. I don't think it adds anything from my personal um, opinion, from a personal view of Ripple or XRP. A prominent XP community member shares data in which the Bank of America names Ripple says cross-border payment system an innovative example or an innovation example. So, contents of this article are, the Bank of America acknowledges Ripple, we have seen that before, so that's not new. Ripple gets acknowledged by Swift, partially new, um, not all the way, but I guess that's also positive to see always. BOA trials XRP Ledger based solution, and Bank of America shuts down Justin Sun's account. All right, this last part I did not know, so I guess that's the most impactful to me uh, here. By the way, all this news is coming out like wildfire, but it's not doing anything to the price. Definitely not. Uh, will not do so either. It's it's just the way it goes, guys. Positive news does not translate into positive price movements. A major XRP follower on Twitter, of course, Bank the God XRP, has shared a screenshot from a document of Bank of America. In it, one of the world's largest banks calls Ripple an example of innovative technology. In particular, it says, Innovation example, Ripple cross-border solution, Ripple's DL solution, or distributed ledger solution, Remedies legacy correspondent banking infrastructure, challenges and provides bi-directional messaging to enhance payment tracking, data transmission, and enables enhanced certainty in settlement. To kind of uh, rephrase that, you know, Ripple's DL, or I wanted, I'm always used to saying DLT, but in this case, distributed ledger solution is actually helping all the correspondent banking to both sides, so bi-directional, messaging system, so kind of what Swift is doing with them better, to enhance the tracking of those payments, so to see where they are, the data transmission, I guess that stands for itself, and certainty in settlement, so really making sure that everything settles correctly, everything really works out in the end, because there were often issues with like, hey, where did that transaction go? Or hey, was this transaction confirmed? Yes or no? We don't really know. And all those things are now, you know, what Ripple's trying to fix, and it's just really, really amazing to see they're acknowledging that right now. Uh, in his tweet, he actually said, Bank of America, Ripple's is cross-border solution, Ripple's is, yeah, wherever, it's the same thing. And he added a picture, innovation, example, Ripple cross-border solution, it's all the same thing. You can just see here how it works, but we all know that already. Now, Ripple gets acknowledged by Swift. Nothing new, I think, but maybe it is. Unlike other cryptos, Ripple's not trying to oppose the current financial system with banks and governments. That's, again, one of the big things that XRP is not for. They're not trying to change um, fiat to crypto. They're just trying to aid fiat by utilizing crypto. I think that's also the best way to do it because changing fiat or just kind of getting rid of fiat is almost impossible right now. It's going to take at least another decade for anything close to be remotely possible, uh, according to my opinion. It is doing its best to become integrated in it. This year, over 300 banks and payment platforms have started trialing Ripple's as its current and on-demand liquidity. However, the major rivals such as Swift still refuse any sort of collab. Well, not completely true either. Um, a lot of people are saying that Swift, Swift will be replaced by Ripple one day. It's also a, a very big question. I mean, Swift has been the, the leading had the leading leading system for half a decade here. Uh, it's really hard to to think them out of the system. 
and to me, it's also kind of a foreign thing, something that's really far away. But to a certain point, I mean, at one point, all these parties are going to have to adopt. And Ripple is really the closest thing to, to perfection that I'm seeing right now, uh, at least at, at which point we are. You know, at the point where we are at right now, I think Ripple is really the closest thing they can get to being perfect. Formerly, as reported by you today earlier, Swift has approved of Ripple's audio low cost and high speed, but still stated that this technology is too young, read imperfect, to be used on a wide global scale. And again, I also read that before. That's why I said, really, what Ripple's doing right now is, to me, really the most perfect thing you can get. They're saying it's imperfect. Why? Because it's so young. There's so many issues that can still be found with it, most likely. And again, Swift has been ruling for half a decade here. Ripple's been here for, let's say, six years, right? You can see the difference right there. They've been here for 10 times as long. Of course, they're going to be a lot more thought out and a lot more stable than Ripple is. Uh, but again, that's what we have all these years for, guys. They're going to be fixing their stuff. They're going to take over. Peace by piece. <clears throat> BOA, Charles XP-based solution. Previously, you today shared the news with the community that Bank of America publicly admitted testing a product based on the XRP ledger. It is simply called the Ripple Project. The fact was confirmed by BOA's spokesperson. However, the same person confirmed that the institution does not plan to start using XRP just quite yet. Yeah, well, well yeah, okay, cool. And last but not least, to me, the most interesting part of this article, Bank of America shuts down Justin Sun's account. We all know Justin Sun is from China. Didn't even know he... I guess Tron maybe has an office in San Francisco as well, right? Despite welcoming Ripple, which Justin Sun used to be an, uh, an employee of, BOA keeps opposing Bitcoin and other crypto. Recently, UGD reported that the bank closed the account onto Tron CEO Justin Sun and the former PayPal top executive and influential venture capitalist Rulof Botha. The account of the latter was shut down assumingly because he had purchased Bitcoin through it. Okay, I don't get that. Why? Why is that the case? Why would? Why are their accounts su suspended, or closed? What? Can they just do that? I mean, I guess, of course they can just do that. Whatever, they can do whatever they want. But why? If you buy Bitcoin, your account gets closed. Is that a rule in America, right there? Is that a rule in the Netherlands as well? Because I've, uh, I've not been uh, updated with such a rule. <laughs> Maybe I've just been doing all this illegal stuff right now. They're gonna come get me. You'll just hear a big knock on the door when I'm recording. You know, <laughs> it would be funny, I guess. You know, you've been buying Bitcoin. You're going to go to jail for 45 years. Let's hope it doesn't happen that way. All right. Next article we got, though. XRP transactions trigger new rumors of partnership between Binance and Ripple. This speculation has been going on for um, years now, I must admit. Right. Binance speculation of partnerships here and there. They're just really all always there. Uh, the reason that this is so huge is because Binance partnerships really tend to trigger bigger moves. We saw with tons of coins. I mean, you don't have to, you don't even have to mention them. You can just see, for example, Verge. No way. Uh, for example, VeChain, which had one a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it's just really amazing what what they can do. There were a couple other coins I've just forgotten. Maybe Tezos, which just had a big increase because of Binance. There's just a tons of coins. You you check it out. You know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, they're 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 thinking something else is coming here. Because back in February, CZ said um, Binance would definitely partner with uh, with Ripple on their ODL solution. We already knew that. And I don't think there's any more than that, really. Uh, now, members of the XP community say a tracking tool designed to detect ODL volume has discovered a number of possible ODL transactions involving the Russian ruble. They're linking a new transaction to Binance, which lost support for the ruble back in October, and it's evidence that Binance will take a role as an ODL exchange it will dynamite the volume. More volume means more benefits for Binance. Good job. Russian corridors open since this morning. Um, okay. So, personally, don't completely know if this has anything to do with anybody. Who, who Who's reporting on this, even? Crypto Crusader. Yeah, personally, not too updated on this, I guess. Um, I don't really know if, if this, is this has anything to do with Ripple. Right. Did they really open a Russian corridor on Binance then? Oh, okay, that would be crazy. No way. All right, that's crazy. That's good. It's really amazing to see. Didn't know that. But yeah, last but not least, Bitcoin on the verge of a big breakout? Question mark. Not gonna cover this. I've been through this so many times. You know, this, these articles are so useless. You don't know anything, or you don't learn anything from it. All you're gonna see is TA, basic TA. You can do it yourself. And if you don't know the TA anyway, you shouldn't be using it anyway. So, in the end, it's not important. But guys, that was it for this video. Hopefully you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you press the like button and make sure you subscribe. 
I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody. Have a very nice day. Make sure you check back for another video later today.